So now we're gonna do uh, Sean Mendez in my blood, mixed by Andrew Mori. Medicine is strong enough, someone help me. I'm crawling in my skin. Sometimes I feel like giving up, but I just can't. It isn't in my blood. It isn't in my blood. I need somebody now. I need so the uh, mix is sounding great. Tons of clarity, and the things I'm hearing that I could uh, just do uh, very subtle improvements on would be uh, getting the choruses to have a little more impact, and maybe just get a little more of, of the low end and low mids in those sections because you have very bright drums going on, and you know, and Sean's uh, belting out the chorus, and I think just adding a little more body and color to it could kind of help offset all the excitement, and just make it sound a little bit of a fuller master. Help me, it's like the world. It's like the walls are caving in Sometimes not, but I just can't It isn't in my blood Laying on the bathroom floor, feeling nothing I'm overwhelmed and insecure Give me something I could take to ease my mind slowly And slowly Just have a drink and you'll feel better Just take her home and you'll feel better Telling me that it gets better. All right, so first I'm gonna focus on the choruses. With the verses, I ended up doing very little because I loved where the mix was at. So, you know, beyond just getting some additional gain, I did very little EQ, just a touch of air on top. And as a mastering engineer, you have to know when to do that. It's not always about, you know, putting your mark on something to show that you worked on it, but it's to just get the best result in the end. And with this, I thought the verses were in a great place. And with the choruses, I did a little bit of a lift. So there's, you know, like, like I was saying before with the dynamic terracing, there's that you know, slight lift to help with the impact. And then I'm gonna do some treatments within the choruses to get the, uh, the, the color and body that I spoke about before. <laughs> So I'm gonna start with just getting a little bit of, uh, you know, one of my favorites is 50 hertz, just to get the uh, thump of the kick out. I'm gonna have a kind of narrow cue on that, on the Santec. To get a little bit more of the vocal and also get some more meat out of the snare and just you know, the, the guitar, just to help it fill things out a bit. Doing very little limiting because it's just not necessary. The, you know, Andrew had a lot in the mix already and just all the glue and excitement is there. If I add too much more, it's just gonna start to fold in because it'll just be a little excessive. Okay, cool. So now that I have the choruses, I, I just loaded in the pass of that. I'm gonna call that pass A, and now I'm gonna go and do a pass B just for the uh, verses. It's really common with tracks where I'll do, you know, sometimes two to three different passes. I don't like to always just do the same treatment for the entire song because sometimes there's some things that, you know, either was missed in the mix where the vocals feel too present in the verses, and then when it gets to the choruses, it feels smaller, so you can make up for that, like I'd mentioned before, just by doing some automated rides. And in this time, I see that there's room in the choruses to go further, so I'm not gonna lower the level Level of the verses, but I'm going to just push the, the choruses a little bit more and then edit them together. Help me, it's like the walls are caving in. Sometimes I feel like giving up, but I so now I'm just uh, pulling back just a little bit on the low end on this part because I don't think it needs it. This song is a bit of a builder and then you got those kick drums coming in as it grows and progresses to the chorus. And I'm gonna uh, just leave the low end as it is originally in the mix. Just have a drink and you'll feel better. Because if I overcompensate too much with the low end in, in the verses, then it might not have as much of a climactic impact as it progresses to the chorus. Does it ever help me? It's like the walls are caving in Sometimes I feel like giving up No medicine is strong enough Someone help me Again, just upon hearing this, uh, I had no inclination to invite in any kind of vibey analog stuff into this because it'll just start to kind of take away from the attack of the drums and whatnot. And I want to make sure it just stays nice and crisp like Andrew had it in the mix. All 
All right, now that I have my two passes loaded in, uh, I'm gonna just edit them together. Feeling anxious. And just make sure that there's a nice jump into the courses. This. I'm trying to find a way to chill. Can't Sometimes I feel like giving up, but I just can't. It isn't in my blood. It isn't in my Someone to help me out. And then for the limiting on this one, it really didn't need any, but I just I need something at the end just to make sure there's no peaking. There was already a lot of control in the mix, so that's really not that necessary. And I want to make sure I don't go over the edge with it because then it'll just add too much excitement and kind of take away from the impact that we already have. So it didn't require any extra limiting. That's it for me here. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope that you know, there were some helpful tips in here. And if I could suggest something for the future, it's just you know, build a good relationship with your mastering engineer because that's really important because you can definitely utilize them in the mix stages to uh, kind of just perfect your craft and they can help you, you know, get the best final products.